Hello and welcome back. On this episode we're going to be installing a solar panel on the shed so we can push forward the automation system. But first let's have a look at the bridge we constructed two months ago. As you can tell it's still standing, although this is not uh, surprising because, well, it is a bit overrated. I used a lot of material, uh, probably 100 kilograms of concrete blocks and about 200 kilograms of cement. So I well, hope it lasts for, for many, many years. This brick on the left is able to collect all the debris and foliage that would otherwise block the bridge and cause a flood. Although if it does flood a bit more, we still have another layer of uh, bricks on top, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's have a look around, see how things look after the herbicide was applied. As you can tell, everything is pretty much dead. Yeah, this pond needs a bit of TLC. This is the <laughs> the old roof. Uh, it's still here. That is the exhaust we installed, if you remember. Let's apply some more herbicide because, as you can tell, well, there's some small plants that are starting to grow. Let's have a look inside. Floor is pretty dry, so that's good news. It's been raining a lot the last days, and I can see no leaks, so that's good. Probably we can leave the roof as it is for now. The connection between the exhaust pipe and the muffler, it's uh, leaking a bit. So then it's noisy, so here I'm just applying some exhaust paste. Pretty straightforward. This pipe shakes a lot, so I might have to come up with something else. But let's see what this uh, exhaust paste can do. This is the solar panel I will be installing, but as you can tell, there's not much sun at the moment. This is facing south, which is good, but it's uh, full of branches, so let's sort this out. This blade is made in Japan, it's called Kamikaze. It works incredibly well, even on pretty thick uh, branches, like 10, 12 centimeters, no problem at all. That's looking better, although we still have a couple of big ones that need to come down. Oops, that was close. The solar panel is rated at 30 watts, which is more than enough for the purpose. And it was very cheap, at 20 euros with the controller included. So I've just zip tied it to a tile and it's good enough for me. Looking pretty good. Let's have a look from the inside. 
I have this piece of wood, an old battery, and you can tell it's already charging, so we're good. So I've now attached the earth wire to the engine, to this uh, Lombardini 325 uh, cubic centimeters diesel engine. And let's go ahead and start it using the starter motor and the battery which is being charged with the solar panel. Let's check the oil level and give it a sniff as well. As you can tell, the starter motor solenoid is still broken, but I haven't been able to find it for a reasonable price, so I might just leave it like this. I think the exhaust paste worked pretty well. I've put some aluminium tape on top just in case, and well, the noise is bearable. The engine is a bit smoky, so I might extend the exhaust. There are some trials, but we will see. I might just leave it like this. This engine is air-cooled, so it soaks air from this side and then pushes it through the cylinder block and head and it comes out from this side. It's effective, very simple, no maintenance. I have received this small pump I bought for the bleeding system, although the suction head is only 30 centimeters, so it might not be enough. Well, look at that, I found the original key, it was on the roof. It's a bit stiff, but just needs a bit of oil. There we go. Just as new. I keep finding stuff on the floor. It's full of debris. And everything ready to go back to sleep. The battery is charging, already 13.4 volts. So on the next episode I would like to work on the automation system and also install some lights as well as uh, finish the bleeding system for the water pump. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it useful.